Hey, welcome back on this wallet Wednesday. Sometimes opening the next door in your career is as easy as a simple knock. That's the message that one author is trying to get across. Networking and forming high quality work relationships could be key to getting where you want to go. Joining us live right now to talk about it is Rebecca Otis Leader, author of Knock, How to Open Doors and Build Career Relationships That Matter. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, thanks so much. I love Portland. Yeah, well, we, we, we love it too. We <laughs> wish we could get out and enjoy a little more of it uh, mm -hmm. these days, but you know, it's coming, it's coming summer. Uh, so let's talk about relationships at work. I think that's, that's not always something people think about when you look at, you know, building your resume or getting mm -hmm. this job or that job. Why are these high quality relationships so important? Yes, so my book covers a five-step method to building high-quality career relationships. High quality means it's positive, it makes you feel good, it's long-term and mutually beneficial. And this is a bit of a new take on the old, it's who you know, networking, which is all about how do we slow down and deepen those relationships. And a lot of that is about taking the focus off of what we're trying to achieve and thinking about the other person, the other company, the other opportunity, which um, really takes a lot of skill in practicing. So you slow down and before you meet, even with somebody new, um, you can prepare to connect. So there's a lot of intention and a lot of thought process when we talk about how to open the door to building high quality career relationships that not only is, uh, are good for our careers, but are also good for your health. So the research is saying that high quality connections uh, make us feel more connected. They bring our stress levels down, which impacts our blood pressure and our heart rate. And we feel more a part of a community and a, we have a purpose, which a lot of us may have felt that that purpose sort of shifted over the last year. So the isolation and, and the, the health risks of feeling really isolated, really disconnected can be combated and offset by building high quality career connections. Yeah, I'm always looking at Emily and thinking, how can I help her have a better day? <laughs> Are right? you? Yes, sure. That's why you're such a high quality work That's relationship. Right. That's right. Okay, so like specifically, <laughs> do you have tips for, for building those relationships? Yes, so uh, commonality is one of the tips that I talk about a lot. It seems obvious, but research, which is the first step in the knock method, is all about how you can learn about people, whether you're looking at their LinkedIn profile, whether you're looking up a company to understand what their values are. So do a tons of research. Um, I actually have a pie chart in the book that says, before any opportunity or any connection, I spend 70% of my time researching, 20% of my time preparing my message, preparing myself and my personal brand, and only 10% is that time connecting. Many of us only have a 30 minute window to have a virtual coffee. So that research is really important, which uncovers that common ground that you can bring to the forefront with someone. It really makes the, their guards come down. It feels much more personal and familiar. Less, uh, instead of feeling like you're kind of on guard and someone's gonna sell you and you feel really defensive, um, commonality can really make that door feel more natural and someone's going to wanna open it. And I would say gratitude is another one. Expressing gratitude and generosity is really just thinking about how we can help people. There have been times I jumped on a work meeting and I had an agenda and I had you know, prepared a message and somebody was just having a really bad day. So sometimes it just means listening and scrapping the agenda and figuring out how you can support that, that person in that moment, which makes it a lot more human rather than just a business transaction. Yeah, I, I would imagine this has all become a little more tricky in this mm. past year with the pandemic. Are there some unique challenges to really trying to connect with people when a lot of us are working from home? Yes, so fortunately I've had the, the, the privilege and the opportunity to work remotely for over six years. So I am proof that it can work and it really takes a lot of that intention and that time. So whenever someone's making a kind introduction to someone at a company, maybe a, a future partner, uh, whoever that may be, uh, I really take the time to, as I mentioned, prepare and research. And you'll find that when you send that outreach email, sometimes it takes me 25, 30, 45 minutes to prepare that message with all of my research, but it shows that I've invested the time in someone else. I'm, I've invested the time in the relationship before we even had a relationship. And in that case, that person's not going to question whether or not there's value there in meeting with you. The value is going to be there because you highlighted that you understand uh, their world. And there's a particular reason you're reaching out to them. You're not just going down a list um, you know, and, and blasting out emails that all look the same, you, you know, in order to do this of, of high quality, 
you have to slow down and um, you know, make sure that you're reaching out to the five people that you think you can add value to and that you can help each other rather than 50 you know, opportunities. So it's really uh, a lot about quality and a lot about highlighting the value to the other person. And in order to do that, we have to ask questions, we have to be curious, and we have to do that research. Hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all, all good advice here as yeah. we work through the pandemic and a lot of people I'm sure coming out of it with a lot of new career ambition. Mm -hmm. So Rebecca, thanks for the tips. Great to talk with you. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Have a great day.